Will doing things more slowly really get you to where you want to be? Stay tuned because today we're going to look at exactly that. Today we're continuing our dialogue about slow. Have you been enjoying the slow pace so far? Now maybe in the past you were one of those people or maybe you're still like that. You're rushing around constantly trying to do everything so fast and cram it all in. Obviously there are times when we will have to rush and do things at a faster pace. That's just the way life goes sometimes. When we're looking at a slower pace of life at eight, what we're actually more interested in is getting you to where you want to be in a slow, sustainable way. It means you're more likely to reach your goal. Now, in my experience of having done this work as a psychologist for a long time, I'm just reflecting on my own life. When I want to rush through something, I can tell you that underlying that action of rushing, there is usually a deep fear associated with it. What I mean by that is if we are rushing to do something, why are you doing it? Is it fear? Are you scared of being left behind? Are you scared of not being good enough? Do you feel Feel like your life can't start until you've achieved this thing, whether it's a certain amount of money in your bank, or having a particular relationship, or that perfect body. The funny thing is, is that we're usually measuring ourselves against other people. And typically what we do then is we measure ourselves against someone's life when we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. And I can tell you what usually happens is we're measuring our year one with someone else's year 10. I have to say that social media is really bad for this. We see this perfect spangly life on a screen and we think that that's how we should be or that's how our lives should look and we try and rush to get there. Here's the key message from today. I would like you to contemplate this, that being slow is a superpower. Think about it. Anyone who's really achieved something that looks truly successful and that has a long-term sustainable life to it, they have typically taken many years or a long time to grow and to get to that place. You see this in business, you see it when people have achieved a healthy body, and you see it when someone's invested in their relationships. It takes time. Hell, it even happens on a daily basis. Think about having a conversation with someone or going to your GP. When they take time and have a slow, considered conversation with you, how much better do you feel? Now, today I want you just to consider that if you want to get to that end result, to that end goal, and we've looked a lot at vision before, and I'll pop a link below to how you can come up with your vision for you, then it's really important to consider doing this at a slower pace. Usually when someone wants to achieve their goal, there are things associated with being in that place, like being able to travel, have more money, spend time with family. Today then, all I would like for you to consider is this. What would your life look like if you took things more slowly? Would you travel more? Would you be spending more time with loved ones? And then I'd like you to consider how you can already do that in your life in this very moment. I hope you like what you've seen today. Do remember to tune in next week for summer school class four and I'll see you then. Bye.